Today I talked about uh, the problem of surgery in patients that present to us with already metastatic breast cancer, what we call stage four at presentation. Usually now we have patients that present with early breast cancer due to better screening, better diagnostic exams. But some patients, usually like around 5%, present with cancer that has already metastasized to other organs. In those cases, the idea is if surgery of the primary tumour will have an impact or not in survival. What we thought until now, based on retrospective studies, is it appeared to have some impact on overall survival. So the meaning is if we remove the tumour, survival was better. But now, with the results of all the prospective trials we are coming out, it seems that the results we had were due to bias introduced in the studies. And what we observe in prospective trials is not at all that, is doing surgery to the primary tumour doesn't impact on survival in the majority of cases. So in those patients, what makes the difference is the quality of systemic treatment. Some patients can have surgery, but this must be decided case by case in multidisciplinary meetings and usually are patients that are very young, very fit and have only one or two usually born metastases. Otherwise, it doesn't uh, have any impact on overall survival. We think yes, because when we analyze the results of the trials, we see that in those particular cases, there's really a benefit on the prospective trials in survival. So what we think is if we take out the theory of the seeding cells, if we take and we treat all the disease as with an intention to cure, we remove the possibility of having more seeding. So we have a more prolonged time until the next recurrence. We have doubts because we have not enough time until now to if we could have a cure in, in those cases. But what we do is we tend to lower down the most possible we can the burden of disease to try to avoid self-seeding of the, the rest of disease. It's curious because we have now the results of three prospective trials. They are very small because it's very difficult to recruit on these trials. But what we observe in two of those trials, is they had a sub-analysis of quality of life. And for us, it was like quality of life would be better if the patients had the primary tumor removed, but it's not. It's curious because the sub-analysis of quality of life don't show any impact on quality of life whatsoever. So what we think is because when you, you have a very good relation with your patient and explain that the impact of removing the primary does, will not affect survival, they understand that and they don't want surgery. But if not, if they are expecting to be cured, by the removal of the primary, possibly that would impact on survival. But this is the benefit of having prospective trials is that you can analyze in a very serious manner the effect that you want. And in regarding quality of life, it doesn't affect at all. I think to finalize is to understand that like in any other aspects of breast cancer or any other cancer, having a multidisciplinary decision is fundamental because in those cases, jumping into situations that are very difficult and very difficult to control, like for instance, going for a surgery that will, not, not, will have some morbidities, will not have the result that we think will have and the patient will delay systemic treatments will possibly have a worse impact on survival than discussing this with all the team and of course with the patient.